Hi everyone, Divya Pandit here. So here we start with the next zodiac sign that is Gemini. Gemini, July 2023. Gemini, you all are feeling a little disappointed in your emotional area. Somewhere uh, consciously you are always trying to show that you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. But that's not true. Uh, somehow you don't know where to focus in life. You're feeling very, very probably unwell or probably mentally unwell right yes you want to be socially active you want to do everything that you know your heart desires let's see the first week second week and third week first week is all about um, money working hard projects building something yes money is coming in but money will not come without work so you have to really really work hard if you want money in the first week of july okay working hard money is coming definitely you're trying to build something new in your life and you're putting all your efforts in the first week second week second week is going to be i'm going to do it and i'm going to show i'm going to show I'm going to show people what I can do in life. Egoic energy. You're not working, whatever you're working on. If the intention is only to show someone, then it's not going to work, Gemini. You have to have the right intention. Also, somebody might put you down out of ego. That, as if that person is making you feel nothing. So this is also coming out of this situation. There is going to be a situation like that. There are going to be offers in front of you of work which are going to be very small. Take it up. It's going to benefit you. Second week. Now third week. Third week is all about balance, stability, happiness, joy, family, friends. It's a beautiful energy in the third week. Beautiful. Fourth week. Fourth week, again, you might feel there are a lot of obstacles in your way what you're trying to do at work. However, these obstacles will come with choices and these obstacles are going to not, it's not something that you cannot do. You've done it before, you can do it again and hard work definitely with achievement. So, beautiful week for you, uh, beautiful month for you, Gemini. First week you're building something but at the same time you're also receiving money. Second week, egoic energy, somebody trying to put you down or you also doing it like I'll show you. A lot of choices, offers coming, you're thinking about it, take it. Third week, balance, money, stability, happiness, friends, family. Fourth week, obstacles but obstacles that you can overcome, not very difficult ones. Let's see what we have in our relationship reading for Gemini. Release your past, Gemini. That's the obstacle. Okay. You really need to release the past and embrace the new. Only then all your dreams will come true. Problem is, Gemini, I feel you're still stuck in the past relationship, probably mentally. And what is coming in front of you, you're not embracing it completely. You have to embrace it completely. Heart chakra energy for sure. There's a lot of pure love. You're only thinking and dreaming about it. Oh, we will do this. We will do that. I want to do this. I want to do But you're not taking action. Taking action will only make your relationship bloom. There's a lot of slow down breaks. Confidence. No confidence. Speak out what you want. Speak out to your partner or to whoever's around you where you can repair your relationship. Take somebody's help. Because the truth slowly, slowly is coming out about your relationship. Your truth is slowly coming out. So for singles, I feel that you still not decided that you want to be in a relationship and people who are married, they are still confused as to what to do. So in the month of July, you are going to not decide anything in your relationship area. Because you still need to work on your heart chakra and your throat chakra and your solar plex. And you are contemplating what to do. There are a lot of choices in front of you. Which choice to take? And people who are married, still confused, not decided what to do with their relationship. They want to come together, 
in a loving relationship however they've still not decided and still don't want to take a step so in july you're only releasing healing and help please help yourself to heal do a lot of chakra meditation unblocking and inner child issues very important because that is the only way you can have a balanced relationship in your life right that's a beautiful reading let's see what we have in your ganeshi messages nurturing there's something about your mother energies gemini which you really need to heal probably you're going into the same pattern as your mother that's what i feel you need a lot of nurturing and self love so you can do that by a lot starting with a grounding exercise and then getting into so a lot of self love i have made a lot of content you can please check that self love is all about loving yourself again inner child issues for sure your inner child issues trigger the minute you step into a relationship so you have to check what and why and how only then things will improve the energy's messages give lot of love to yourself it will really help you in every area of your life that's all for today don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and follow me on twitter instagram and facebook and message me and email me for paid appointments and share this video with your family that's all for today goodbye god bless bye bye take care